Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Edge of the Earth campaign playthrough with Monterey Jack. We are at the scenario 3, the city of the Elder Things, and we have done the setup according to the setup number 1. Uh, at the start of the scenario you are given three choices depending on the composition of your expedition members and uh, because we lost one member from the last uh, bracket we had the choice of picking either uh, setup one or setup two and I decided to pick up the setup one and this is the board layout for that uh, setup. During the setup we uh, randomly picked chaos tokens and put them on the locations they act as keys and if you're familiar with the for the greater good scenario the keys work in a similar way in that scenario so when we get clues out of the location we have a free action to pick up the clue also if enemies have keys on them uh, when we defeat them we get uh, the keys back uh, also uh, during the setup uh, we uh, determined that we have to add one frost token and one elder thing token to the chaos bag so I'll put them in now. We have a total of four frost tokens in the bag so uh, half of them are in the bag already. Uh, then uh, during the interlude after the last scenario we talked to uh, let's see uh, we talked to Kuki we got one extra experience then we talked to Dr. Mala uh, Sinha and we were able to heal one physical trauma off of uh, Monterey Jack. Then we also talked to Takeda Hiroko that resulted in three extra resources at the start of this scenario. Uh, other than that, um, we have done the setup according to the rules of the uh, setup number one. So the layout of the map is like so. Uh, we had um, eight experience after the last scenario because we got one from the interlude also. So let's look at the upgrades we did to Monterey Jack's deck. And we are over on ArkhamDB.com and these are the upgrades I did to the deck. So uh, last scenario we added one copy of I've got a plan. Uh, one copy of survey the area and one copy of ion chart and we basically did the same to this scenario so uh, this only costed us uh, seven experience so we still have one experience banked uh, after the uh, upgrades to remove cars uh, I removed two copies of I'm out of here I don't think there are a lot of resign actions uh, available the last part of the campaign so I'm taking a risk because I don't know and I removed both of those then also we are getting a bunch of resources from uh, Monterey Jack's ability uh, so I think one copy of Lone Wolf uh, go of course if we get uh, the other one it's still good we are spending a lot of resources for the assets and cards we have in the deck so not that big of a change to the deck, just making it more um, coherent by adding the second copies of those cards. And that is all the upgrades we did. We are ready to begin the scenario. Our objective here is to get those keys. Uh, we need two Elder Thing keys and two Tablet keys to uh, advance the act. And also we can spend clues to move around the board. Uh, I'll talk about more of those abilities when they are needed, but for now we just want to get clues, want to get the keys and find a way to the hidden tunnel. So let's get started. We are ready to draw our opening hand, so let's see, we get uh, Bostian Bargan, Leo De Luca. Sled dogs, calling in favors, and trusty bullwhip. I think we want some uh, good cars for investigating, but I'm keeping Leo and uh, Mulligan in the rest. So let's see. Uh, we get the magnifying glass. Uh, we also have a bunch of these Tekalili cards, but uh, we'll 
talk about those if we hit them. Uh, we'll draw a new card instead of that. Uh, we get the Faustian bargain, uh, breaking and entering, and quick thinking. So these will shuffle back, and we have have some uh, extra actions with Vio, and uh, still a couple of resources we need to play the breaking and entering at some point. But for now, we are just trying to get some clues, uh, move around the board, and find a way to the hidden tunnel by advancing. Just a quick shuffle, and we are ready to begin. So, uh, immediately we'll play Leo. So, six resources, and we get an extra action for each turn, which is really, really good. Then, uh, we'll just put down the magnifying glass as a first action. First, uh, I mean, second action. Oh yeah, and I picked uh, Cookie again as our asset from the expedition team because there are a lot of Elder Thing monsters in this um, encounter deck and also some penguins, so we might need to fight some enemies. So, uh, without further delay, let's start investigating. So we are investigating 5 versus 4. I am actually... I'm tempted to play uh, the breaking and entering, but I think I'll just commit the quick thinking, so we might get an extra action if we're lucky, but to secure that we get this clue. So 6 versus 4, and it is a minus 2, so really good that we uh, committed this card, we get the clue, we get this key, so this is one of those keys we need to advance. And the other is there for that set, and the Elder Thing tokens are here and here, so I think we're moving somewhere there to get, get those clues. Also, mm, I have an action here, if there are no clues on Temple of the Elder Things, choose two locations with keys on them, swap each key on the, those locations. So, actually, to avoid going all the way up there, I am uh, swapping Let's see, I think we could keep the two, uh, the ones are quite close, so uh, the other zero is there, so I'll just put the zero here and this here, so we spent an action to do that, and last action we'll just move over here, so let's uh, recap, so I played Leo, I investigated, I did the uh, token swapping, and then I'm moving, so we'll move over here, and it is another Temple of the Elder thing, so I was hoping for another kind of location, but it is what it is. So there is one clue here, at least it's easy to get the uh, token from there without that much investigating, so that is all of our actions, we'll go to upkeep, uh, uh, before that we'll be moved. So I'm taking a resource, uh, and uh, then I will draw two cards in the upkeep. So good thing, because we would have hit and weakness, so we'll just keep the obfuscation and discard the weakness. And we gain one resource. So, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so one of six. Encounter card for this turn is... Glimpse of the unspeakable peril revelation. Draw the top card of the Tekalili deck. Uh, shuffle it into any investigator's deck instead of placing it on the bottom of the Tekalili deck. Oh yeah, and we have to resolve it. And if no Tekalili weakness is drawn by this deck, this gains search, so we'll get one card here. And it is uh, discard one card at random from your hand, place Tekalili on the bottom of the Tekalili deck, so we will. Uh, shuffle these cards, discard one, and put that card into our deck. So we will lose obfuscation, which is not nice. We would have wanted to keep that. But it is what it is. We'll shuffle that into the deck. That is the mythos phase done. I 
I think uh, let's just try to investigate here. So uh, first action, investigate five versus uh, four. It is a minus two, so not lucky enough. We'll try again. I think we don't need the Faustian bargain, so I'm committing that. So six versus uh, four. It is a cultist, and cultist is a minus two. If you fail, something happens, but we succeed, so we grab this clue. And we'll grab this key. And uh, then we will spend these two keys to uh, advance this a bit. So we still need the elder thing king. So next, we'll move down here to go grab the next. Uh, token needed. And this is the Ruinous Streets, 4 Shroud, 1 Clue, so we're hitting all of the high Shroud locations apparently. Forced after you reveal one or more uh, Frost tokens during the skill test at the Ruinous Streets, take 1 damage. Uh, after you discover the last clue from Ruinous Streets, discover 1 clue on a connecting location, so I think we would like to maybe reveal a location, come back and then Try to grab this clue. But yeah, that is all, our, all of our actions. Uh, we moved. I'll actually take a card. Another breaking and entering. And we gain one. Uh, then we gain two cards. And upkeep will be the Aeon chart. And uh, we gain one resource. So we are definitely playing the Aeon chart down as fast as possible. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, Encounter card is uh, Giant Albino Penguin. So it's a 2 fight, 3 uh, health, 2 dead creature, Alu. As an additional cost for you to enter or leave this enemy location, you must spend one action. So at least it doesn't engage us, but it will be uh, slowing us down if we move through this location. So we'll just mark it down over here. So we get the penguin here, which is bothering us. That is the middle space done. Uh, first action, we'll play the Aeon Charge. So it costs two resources and it has three secrets on it. Uh, during a turn, exhaust Aeon Charge and spend one secret tooth and take two of the following actions in any order. Or investigate, so uh, yeah, we forgot to put the clue down. So I am uh, doing this free action, so I'm exhausting using this. So we will investigate and move. If we fail, then we fail, and uh, we are investigating. Uh, Five versus uh, five versus four. Was it four? Yeah. Okay. So five versus four. It is a skull, and skull is uh, x. X is the uh, number of keys you control. Well, it is zero, so that is lucky. Then uh, we have three crews. Uh, we can move. So we'll just. Uh, move over here. It costs one action plus a thing, and we grab the key before we leave. So we'll just move over here. And Labyrinth Chamber. It is a three shard location with two clues. Each time a chaos token is revealed during a skill test at this location, double it. It's modifier if a key matching that chaos token is on this location or under the control of an investigator at this location. And uh, well, it is a victory point location, so we might want to get uh, those clues at some point, but uh, instead I am thinking of spending some of the clues I already have, so uh, let's see, during a turn spent, we, we can either uh, during a turn spend one clue, look at the revealed side of the city landscape in your column on row, limit once per round, or during your turn spend three clues any location in your column or row, and these are uh, columns and these are rows, so we could move 
either somewhere here or somewhere here and the hidden tunnel we can move into so I'm spending the three clues and this is a fast triggered ability so we'll move over here so it is the stone bridge it's a three shroud location with one clue uh, we can test uh, fight uh, combat or uh, agility to grab a clue from here and uh, there's an action to move to another stone bridge location so even though the map is r pretty large there are some ways to move around faster uh, next action we will investigate and uh, yeah I think we have plenty of chances to investigate So I'm investigating uh, 5 versus 3 uh, Frost token Minus 1, so minus 2 So 5 versus 3 is enough We'll grab this clue We'll grab this key And I'll use an action to uh, put this up here Which means we are advancing at high speed So now we have spent 2 uh, keys uh, of the Elder Things keys and two keys of the uh, tablet keys. Uh, we remember that we studied the history of the Elder Things and uh, this turned the origin of the Sogots. So, we'll, uh, so if the team has studied the history of the Elder Things and discovered the origins of the Sogots, advance. And uh, we shuffle the set aside Sogots encounter set and the encounter discard file into the encounter deck. You know the route into the Undercity, reveal the hidden tunnel. Put the set aside terror of the star's enemy into play at the hidden tunnel, exhausted. And uh, we'll do that in a moment. So now, uh, pursuit of the unknown, and uh, it is the version 1, because we uh, did the setup 1. Uh, spend 2 uh, cultist keys, each investigator may heal 1 damage, 1 horror, and 1 trauma. Well, I think we don't need that. Objective if made, undefeated investigator is at the hidden tunnel and it has no clues. Advance. So we reveal the hidden tunnel. It is a dashed shroud to clue location. Clues on hidden tunnel cannot be discovered or moved to other locations. Action test a skill of your choice or you may spend a skull key to get plus five skill value for this test. If you succeed, return one clue on the hidden tunnel to the token pool. Two clues instead if you spend a skull key. So we might want to go and grab a skull key so we can just do one uh, test and get both of those clues from there and then advance. And we still have one action left. Or, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, we still need to put the, the terror of the, of the stars in play and it spawns exhausted at the location, uh, the hidden tunnel location, so it's here, it doesn't come after us right away. Then uh, we shuffle these and the encounter discard pile, which is a whopping one card into the encounter deck, so now we have Shogots in here. Not nice. So uh, we investigated uh, using the Eon chart, had to spend one action to move. Then uh, we did a free action to uh, move with the clues to the stone bridge. Then we investigated with our second action. Uh, then, third action was to. Uh, investigate here and uh, no, the uh, third action was to let me let me count again. So investigate uh, with the Eon chart and move, spend one action, then uh, use three clues to move three action, investigate, uh, spend those to advance. So then we still have one uh, action left. So I'm actually thinking of uh, moving to the city landscape location over here. Wait, maybe we or, or up. We 
to go grab the skull. Be a good plan. There are two, three lo uh, tokens there, so we could try to grab those. Maybe, we'll see. But yeah, I think we're just trying to get to the hidden tunnel and advance that as fast as possible. So, last action will up here. And it is a uh, submerged passageway. Five shroud, one clue. Uh, action move, one clue from this location to an unrevealed location in this column or row. Okay. Uh, well, that was our turn. Uh, at the end of the turn, we get one card, we get sled dog, and we gain one resource for a Monterey Jack's ability because we moved more than two locations. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, we ready cards. We'll draw two cards. Uh, we'll pick the quick thinking because we don't have a, a slot for accessories left. And we get one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, three of six encounter card is. Walk, walk, walk. Hazard. Revelation, find the giant albino penguin enemy farthest from you. You must either move it to your location or place one doom on it. There are no... well... Uh, we would have searched... Well, I'm just placing a doom because we're doing this in record time for the time being and we don't want that albino penguin to come and harass us. So that is the mythospace done. I think we are... Uh, Uh, we'll use the Eon chart, so we'll uh, move and investigate. So we'll move over here. And it is the map room. Choose route one clue, spend uh, two minus three keys, choose three locations and reveal them. Discover one clue from each of those locations. Recorded in the camera log, uh, the team read the map. Okay, well, this is a tempting one. So we are investigating uh, five versus two here. There's one two here. It is a zero. We'll grab this clue and this key. We still need the other three to do anything. So uh, we'll move up here. A roofless rampart. Two shroud, one clue. Uh, spend two minus one keys, either remove one room from the agenda or choose and discard to play one non-elite enemy or treachery. Record the Campbell Law. The team discovered the hit. Okay. We'll just investigate here. Uh, I'm investigating uh, five versus two, so three up. It is a frost token. A minus four, we fail. We'll investigate again. Uh, five versus two. Minus one, we'll grab this clue and this key. And I'm using the. Uh, I'm using the clues actually here that we can travel here. Just checking if I can spend two pulse here. Mm, you may spend a skull key to get plus five, but it doesn't say if uh, we can well, we can do the uh, ability twice, so we could just... Yeah, so... Um, a spoiler, <laughs> the, at the end of the scenario you get experience for uh, sets of keys you have spent. So we might want to just spend the second skull key there. So we move to uh, the stone bridge. Uh, using the clues here. Uh, we'll investigate again, so 
I'm actually using the breaking and entering here just to get this clue without any, any problems. So we are investigating 10 verse 3. It is a cross token, of course. Uh, call this minus two, so we still succeed. We'll grab this blue and this key, so that is good. That is all of our actions. This enemy starts hunting, so it hunts the temple of the elder things, and uh, that is it. Uh, no other enemy actions. We'll go to oh, yeah, we moved. Uh, we'll get a card. We get the stubborn detective. Uh, at the end of our round, so that the enemy actually hits us. I'll put one damage on the other Luca. And uh, yeah, we still. I think we got both before that uh, rendered our ability useless. Okay, then we go to the upkeep, so that guy hit us, and we draw two cards. Uh, we get either that uh, 13 or survey the area, and we can survey the area. And uh, that is the turn, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We are at 5 of 6 tomb, and counter card for this turn is... Nebulos Miasma, Curse Hazard Revelation, and that's your location. Or when you end your turn at the third location, each card is controlled with sanity, takes one direct horror. At the end of the round, discard Nebulos Miasma, so that ifs because we are leaving this location immediately so uh, let's see we have to evade this stubborn detective I am uh, actually using the um, I'm using the quick thinking for this I'm also checking Uh, we don't have to immediately advance, so yeah. just checking that because it's relevant if we grab one two, or, or both close there and uh, want to use the other skull later. So uh, we are uh, evading. Uh, we are six versus two. Skull is a, uh, no, it's the cultist minus two, so this. Upper and detective is evaded. Place it over here. And uh, so we pass with two or more, so we get an extra action. So I'm just uh, red turning that. So then we'll move two, three. Actually, uh, we move one to have one action left. Yeah, we have to reveal this. Uh, this is the submerged passageway. We don't care about that one. Then we find the landscape, which is a minus three. So we could actually pick this and go to the map room next turn. Okay, so uh, two clues and. Victory point. So we are investigating for our last action here. And it is a cross token. Oh yeah, this should be ready. I'm, I'm not using it this turn, I use probably next turn. So a cross token and uh, so where were we? Uh, we are investigating a 5 versus uh, 4 now, so we need minus 1 or better. And it is a minus 1, so we'll grab one clue here. Then uh, uh, that is that, so enemy actions, this enemy hunts here. Uh, this goes away at the end of the round. Uh, it's ready. That is that turn. Uh, we moved, uh, we get one card, this scout ahead, really good, and uh, one source for moving twice. Then we get two cards with force learning. I'll pick the obfuscation, we don't need the backpack anymore. 
and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go with the next turn. Oh yeah, this uh, cross token should be in the back. We add a doom, so actually the agenda uh, advances. Third, uh, our read scenario interlude gaze in the madness in the campaign log. So I already read that, and uh, we have to pick one expedition member at random and from from the available. So I have all of them here. We shovel them. Let's see who is the unlucky victim. And I'll pick this one. So Elijah uh, Ashevak looks into a doorway and is <laughs> defeated and dead. So that happened. So no more El Elijah. So he goes there among the dead. So in the expedition team section of the campaign log, Crosshoff's chosen character's name, if they were in play, they are defeated and removed from the game. And it did, uh, if it would have been done for it, then something extra would have happened to us. I leave, I will, I leave it for you to discover when you're playing your own playthrough. So that that was that. Uh, so next up, uh, we still have the same actions there, but the threshold is 10 now. Uh, we'll get an encounter card, and it is the glimpse of unspeakable. So we go on the top card of the Tekalil deck. Lose two resources, fine, and we shuffle this to our deck. So we have a bunch of Tekalil cards. I'm actually checking how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. We have five Tekalil cards in the deck. Ridiculous because uh, the force learning is just broken in this campaign because you can just uh, most of the time take two cards and discard the weakness. So this is a safeguard against those. So that is really powerful. Okay, so uh, we lost two resources. Fine, we start the investigation phase. I'm using the neon chart here. So I am investigating and moving. So, let's see. Uh, we are investigating 5 versus 3. I think um, we will use the breaking and entering here. So, we are investigating 10 versus 3. It is a tablet, and tablet is a minus three. If a cross token was revealed, it wasn't so nothing happens. So we'll grab this key. We'll grab this key, and we get to move. I move here because we want to uh, visit the map room this turn. So first real action, we'll move to the map room. Second action, we will spend these two keys and let's see. Uh, Choose three location and reveal them. Discard one clue from each of those locations. Recorded in the Campbell log, the team read the map. I'm just at the moment marking this that we did this one. And uh, I'll reveal... Uh, we reveal these two. So there are no clues there. We still don't get the keys. And let's uh, just pick one. Why not this one? Okay, same thing. And third action, we'll move into the hidden tunnel. Last action, we will uh, do a agility test. Uh, and. Uh, no, we'll we'll do an yeah we we'll do an agility test. So I'm using the survey the area, spending uh, one of these keys. I'm also committing the scout ahead. So 
So we are uh, th uh, 10, 12 versus, uh, no, 11 versus 4 for the chest. Elder thing is uh, minus 4, we don't fail, so we grab two clues from here because we spent a skull token. And we basically could uh, end the scenario here, but I will go on for one more round to uh, get to spend this other one, so we get the experience at the end. And that is our turn, enemy actions, this enemy hunts over here, this enemy hunts over here, and oh yeah, um, we get a card with the Monterey Jack's ability, it is the Rod of Animalism, and we gain one resource because we move more than uh, times. Uh, we only get the card because we are uh, only one location away from where we started. But that is okay, we'll go to upkeep. Be ready. We draw two cards, we'll pick up the whip. Why not? That's good icons, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a Doom, encounter Cardis. It is the giant albino penguin, so really we don't mind because this guy doesn't affect us because we're not moving anymore. So that is that. So we go to the investigation phase. I will do an um, agility test for why not. I'm spending a uh, rusty bull whip and this. So we are uh, four. Uh, we are five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 13 against 4, so I think we're just succeeding here. Yeah, it is a tablet, we succeed. Nothing happens because there are no clues. And, oh yeah, this went to the uh, token pool, not to our investigator. But yeah, we managed to spend the clues, so now we are advancing. And we get to the Undercity, which results in the resolution 1. So let's see what happens in resolution 1. So, in your camp log record, the team found the hidden tunnel. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator also earns one additional experience for each pair of chaos tokens spent during this scenario. So, one, two, three, four, and five experience in total. That is pretty good. Uh, in the expedition team section of the camp log record, the amount of damage and horror on each card player as in play. And we proceed to interlude three final nights. So that was uh, the City of the Elder Things scenario. I actually really <laughs> like this scenario, and as usual, I have already played this uh, scenario once because I want to familiarize with the rules before I film the playthrough. So, uh, my first playthrough, I managed to get to the end, but I basically through each enemy from the, or almost each enemy from the encounter deck so it was quite a, a hard playthrough but this time I think we did quite well so uh, I'm happy with that so we have five experience left I'll, I'll again do the interlude between scenario filmings so I'll tell you in the next video what happened but for now thanks for watching and until next time Thank you.